Today, Modi 2 government has completed 100 days and the government and the party in power is celebrating their 100 days of ruling. The party and the government is claiming their achievements of 100 days. But the common man of this country is suffering. The economy is in total doldrums. Manufacturing industries, especially the automobile industry, has virtually come to a closure. Lacks and lacks of workers have lost their jobs. Farmers are in deep distress. Employment opportunity in government sector and public sector is completely closed. The principle of reservation in government jobs and public sector jobs have come to a standstill. This is the fate of the country when the Modi 2 government celebrates its 100 days of power. Many agendas the government have decided to implement within 100 days. One of the important agenda or one of the major agenda which the government has decided to satisfy the corporate houses of this country is to corporatize the Indian ordinance factories. Convert the state-owned defense industry which is a 218 years old organization into a public sector company. The intention and the motive behind this decision is very clear that once a single customer based industry which is totally dependent on the Indian armed forces if it is converted to a public sector then within one or two years there will not be any order for the new corporation it will become a sick industry and which will give a hand to the government to privatize or to close the same by declaring the ordnance factories as a sick industry. Visualizing the danger, the 82,000 defense civilian employees under the leadership of the AIDEF, the INDWF, the BPMS and the CDRA took a very right decision to fight back and after staging a series of agitations have decided to go for a one month strike since all the representations submitted by the federations have gone to a deaf ear. The government is not prepared to discuss or to respond to the representation submitted to the government. In this situation, as all of you are aware, the strike notice was served on the 1st of August 2019 and the strike commenced from the 20th of September. It was a jubilant participation by the entire 82,000 workforce of the Indian Ordnance Factories. Even the 40,000 contract workers, they also joined this historical movement. The strike went on. Day by day, the percentage of participation was increasing. Even though some of our friends, without understanding the forthcoming danger, have taken a position against the strike. The government also made a series of attempts to crush the strike. By declaring, by publishing a gazette notification that the ordnance factories are public utility service. By declaring the same, the game plan of the government is to impose Essential Service Maintenance Act on the striking workers and the leaders. They tried their best through the regional labor commissioners and the chief labor commissioner somehow to declare the strike as an illegal strike. They also made attempts to bring police forces, both state and central, to see that the strike is crushed. But 
the 82,000 workforce took like a rogue and proved to the entire world the strike is a peaceful strike. The strike is a voluntary strike. The government was shaked because of the strike. The government was forced to call for negotiations. The two round of negotiations failed under the chairmanship of additional secretary DP. Government asked CLC to intervene. After the intervention of CLC, the efforts taken by the government to declare the strike as illegal through CLC failed, miserably failed. And uh, based on the direction of the CLC, the secretary DP, who was elevated to the post of defense secretary on the same day, called us for a negotiation. Lot of discussion took place for more than two hours. We have explained to him what will happen to the ordnance factories if it is corporatized. Thereafter, he made an announcement that the government is only examining the proposal to corporatize the ordnance factories. The government has not taken any decision so far to corporatize the ordnance factories. He then announced that a high level official committee will be constituted where the federations can appear before the committee and submit their grievances, their reservations, their arguments, their views that why they are opposing corporatization. With this understanding which was given in writing, the federations and the CDRA took a decision to defer the strike. And we have categorically mentioned in the deferment letter what we have issued to the government that the strike is only deferred and if the government at any point of time decides to corporatize the ordnance factories, the second phase of agitation will start. This is where we stand today. The second phase is waiting for all of us. Our united struggle has forced the government to not take a decision to corporatize the ordnance factories within 100 days, which they wanted to originally do it. So it is a temporary victory for the strike, which we have done for six days. It's an historical strike. It has inspired the entire working class of the country. Now different sectors of the industry, which are under attack, are going on agitation. The coal workers are going for a one day strike on the 27th of this month. The BSNL workers are already in the struggle path. There is going to be an open convention of all the sectors in Delhi on the 30th of this month, sponsored by the Central Trade Unions. Therefore, I am appealing to the entire fraternity, the comrades of the ordinance factories and the entire defense industry be prepared for the second phase of the agitation. We have only deferred. We are very closely monitoring the situation and watching the situation. If any proposal moves, if any decision is taken against the interest of the employees of ordnance factories, by converting this great organization into a corporation, we will not keep quiet. We will fight back and be prepared for that second battle. And I am confident if the same spirit of unity and fight remains, we will achieve our goal. We can save our 218 years Indian ordnance factories. Thank you very much, comrades.